Hey, Inzeroth to see here. Today is a wonderful day because today I received my beautiful, wonderful, excellently crafted iambic paddle. The brass P2 version of the K8RA paddle, featuring large acrylic paddles and four precision brass precision uh, bearings, two in up here, two down below. Um, two springs and and uh, silver contacts as well as the three pegs in the back and this thing is a pure anchor it weighs 2.755 pounds so we won't move anywhere even though if you're the hardest here unless you're, you're like this so uh, I don't have it hooked up yet but uh, later in the video I'll show you how I will hook it up to my radio um, using microphone cords so anyway I found a uh a guy down in the Turks and Caicos Islands, um, VP5 slash WJ20. He is just kind of down there having a vacation for the sixth time, I believe, um, with his uh, website being right here, WJ20.com. Sixth time counting. So anyway, here he is on 17, I believe, yeah, 17 meters. And I'm gonna see how my antenna performs when you're on 17 meters. So, just uh, try to work him on the first try. Because he's, he's a pretty strong signal, and all the other guys are quiet, uh, working uh, Japan mostly, but got some uh, Americans as well. Hopefully, this works this time. Oh, it didn't work the first time. Oh, it didn't work the second time. What a bummer. Oh, I know why. So many things weren't on split. <laughs> Don't hold me. I might. Yep. Okay, let's go back to this uh, paddle that I was showing you at the beginning of the video. Um, this here K8RA paddle, not V, I think. I don't know what I said, but anyway. Here it is, and as you see, it is quite loud. So I'm going to set the camera up here and let you look at me adjust. Okay, first of all, let's adjust the contact spacing. As you see on this, the contact spacing is quite wide, therefore you have to do a lot of work. So to adjust that, you take the included Allen wrench and you, un you unscrew or you slightly loosen the rear Allen wrench. And they'll just kind of come out like that. You don't have to take them out, but they do. And then we'll take a piece of paper <coughs> from any paper source and we'll slip it in there and tighten it up. We'll do the same on the other side. The only difference between the two sides is that uh, when you're tightening the left side, when you're screwing it this way towards the right, it'll push the peg towards the right, which will end up giving it a smaller space. But it went on the left side, um, you're pushing it towards the left when you're screwing it and that means the gap will be a lot farther so you have to push harder on this side or in fact you can even fold the paper on this side so make it a little thinner gap for this particular paddle so I'm going to continue with the right side and tight and once you do that they will stay there they will never move because of the nice engineering there are no threads or anything they, they will never move. Now, since I like to work using my paddle like this, it's very easy to accidentally hit a dit or doll or hit them too many times or whatever. So that's why we have contact springs or, or just springs, I guess. What they're there for is to prevent those uh, accidentals and to actually have some force to make a dit or doll. So adjust those as much of the same. Loosen up the screws. And now bouncy. And so I kind of just eyeball it. I go about three quarters away 
three quarters inside in, into it and then tighten it. And then like ways on the opposite side. And now I can comfortably set up here without having X and all of this or DOS and actually have to move it <coughs> to make it or DOS. So anyway, let's get on to connecting it. Um, as you see on the back, there are three pegs. Um, this is to this, this is to this, and then the middle is to the ground. And on the bottom, these two are insulated from the base, which is the ground, and this one isn't. This one's connected right to it. So you're going to need three conductor wire. You can make this at home using a uh, phone jack, phone wire, and a uh, plug, like a quarter inch plug or an eighth inch, depending on your radio. And just strip the end and plug them into the, according, into the uh, appropriate plugs. But what I did is I went to Radio Shack and got some headphone extension wire, or even microphone wire. So this stuff, they had 20 feet at a time, so I had to just go on and get the 20 feet version. But anyway, it's a headphone extender wire ending in a jack and a plug, just like that, you know. So I don't need this part. I only want this part. So I'm going to cut it in half, and then save the remaining wire for later. Here's the halfway mark. We're going to hit it with the pliers once, and it'll be cut. And boom. <laughs> and I magic. So anyway, that leaves us with 10 feet of tear wire. Here on the end, we want to strip one inch off, so we'll take a very sharp knife and just kind of roll it on there. And then easily strip it, and then we'll be fi we'll find out there is a shield, and then two inner conductors, a red and a white wire. Here on the plug, the shield corresponds to the sleeve of the jack, the white wire corresponds to the ring, and the red wire corresponds to the tip. And the red wire is the one that always has the voltage in the plain old telephone service, and that's that's how you know. So, anyway, we'll uh, tighten these wires up, and then we'll, we'll first of all we'll strip these two wires right quick. And then we'll pretty up this uh, shield. So we can put it in the plug. Or the, and now we'll connect it. And the middle here, the middle one always goes to ground since it's connected to the ground. So we'll just like loop it and tighten it up. And use our trimmer to trim any excess. Or snipper, I guess. <laughs> and then, depending on your left or right handedness, I am right-handed, so my finger does the da, my thumb does the dit. So it's dot it, dot it, dot it. <coughs> the red corresponds to the da in a normal paddle polarity. The white corresponds to the dit. But in my radio, and in most radios, there will be a fun or a setting um, for paddle polarity. As you see, my paddle polarity is normal and reverse. That makes it to where you can either have a dit or a da, no matter how it's wired up. You just set it to reverse or normal, and uh, go from there. So. To have a dead on on the a, a doll on the finger, you want to put the red on the right or the red on the left and the white on the right. Kind of rims, I guess. So okay, and then white on right. Voila! Now we're connected, or not quite actually. Now we have to plug in the jack into the radio. On my radio, the electric key jack is right here in the front. So, just plug it in. All right, now we have CW. Try to guess what I'm saying. There you go. Thanks for watching.